Thanks to Helen Armstrong for writing that holiday melody for the choir and for arranging last night's potluck supper. <laughs> and now I'm told Helen's Sunday school class has something to share with the congregation. Helen. Thank you, Reverend Hopkins. This week I've asked some of our youngest boys and girls to tell you their favorite things about Sunday school. Ivy? My favorite thing about Sunday school is the good feeling I get when I go there. Very nice, Ivy. Teddy? I like hearing all the stories. Good. <laughs> Elmer? My favorite thing about Sunday school is seeing my friends. Very good. Alice? My absolute favorite thing about Sunday school is the annual Christmas pageant. That's my favorite, too. Charlie? Yeah. What's your favorite thing about Sunday school? The best thing about Sunday school is that there are no herd ministers. <gasps> uh, what did you say? No herd ministers. Now, Charlie. We must be careful what we say about others. Yeah, if the Herdmans ever found out, you know what they'd do. The worms in your sandwich. The worms in your purse. Flatten your tires. And much, much more. Those are terrible things to say. But they're all true. The Herdmans are the worst kids in the history of the world.
I need your help. I can't open the door. Come inside. Uh, I tried to call, but you weren't home. I brought dessert. Ice cream, you're a saint. We're having TV dinners. Again? <laughs> you won't believe what happened today. Claude Herdman brought his cat to show and tell. It was a disaster. You should have seen it, Dad. The cat shot out of his box, clawed four big long scratches all the way down the blackboard. Wow. Then he started scratching kids and shedding fur, scattering books and papers everywhere. All the kids were running up and down the hall, screaming. Then Miss Randall put her coat over her head, grabbed a broom, started swinging it, and yelled, Here, kitty kitty! Unfortunately, she broke an aquarium full of 60 goldfish and 20 gallons of water. It was like a tidal wave! The Herman's cat gobbled up all the goldfish. Glass and all. Then she swallowed Ramona Gaffey's pet hamster. Hold! What did Ramona do? She cried so much that I had to send her home. What happened to the Herman kid? Nothing. Nothing ever happened to them. I think I've seen that cat before. Mrs. Herdman walks it on a chain down by the railroad track. It's missing an eye and has that short leg and broken tail. <laughs> the postman thinks it's a bobcat. I don't think you can tame a bobcat. The Herdmans don't want to tame it. They just want to make it the meanest cat on the planet. Well, I was called into the minister first aid. Then the whole class, including Mrs. Brandle, was given recess for the rest of the day. That's much more exciting than selling insurance. Bradley, that's Beth's dinner. I'm starved. You were heard and stole my lunch. Again? That's the third day in a row. Four. That's it. I'm talking to the principal about those herdmans. They're a menace. Please don't. Ralph would kill me. Somebody has to take a stand. They're bullying everyone. Who's Ralph? Leroy's brother. He's mean. But not as mean as Imogene. They're all mean. And now that Christmas is coming, they're getting meaner than ever. Christmas? Oh, I almost forgot. Beth, can't you help Charlie out in the laundry? Me? You're the older sister. Dad, that's even worse. Don't worry, I'll handle it. This flyer was in the church newsletter today. Helen Armstrong is holding auditions for the Christmas pageant this Sunday. Not anymore, she isn't. What are you talking about? I ran into Ed Armstrong. Helen fell on the ice. Oh, no! She's in the hospital. Hooray! You don't have to do the pageant. That's terrible. Stop it. <laughs> Can't we just stay home this year? Yeah. I had to watch Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol on TV. Sounds good to me. No one is staying home, and no one is watching Mr. Magoo. But it's just going to be the same old thing. Alice Wendelkin will play Mary. Elmer Hopkins will play Joseph. And I'll have to go. Hello? <laughs> Grace, we have a situation here. Helen? A crisis. Do I make myself clear?
pageant and auditions are on Sunday. Mom. Does that mean I have to go? Yes! <laughs> Mom is directing the pageant. Has she ever directed a play? No, but Mother says we don't have to worry. Mrs. Armstrong will be giving Mrs. Bradley orders for on the hospital. Mrs. Bradley knows you always play Mary, right? I'm sure Mrs. Armstrong will tell her. Oh, there she is. Beth, come sit by me and Ivy. Did you hear? Mrs. Armstrong is in the hospital. It's all over school. I'm so excited that your mom is going to direct. Now you can be the leader of the Angel Choir, which is perfect for you. You really think so? I can barely read music. You just look so angelic. And besides, as Mary, I like to know that I have someone that I can count on to lead the younger angels in and out and tell them to be quiet when I'm on stage, baby Jesus. <laughs> it's the shepherds you have to worry about. They're always whamming each other with their canes. <laughs> That's, true. That's true, Ivy. But don't you think that Beth should play the lead angel. Of course, Alice. Don't worry, Alice. I don't want to play Mary. Oh, Beth, I didn't even think. You have to play Mary. You're smart and neat and felt so holy looking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not really, but if you really believe that, <laughs> you're, you're perfect. those Rice Krispie treats. Oh no, Charlie, look out! Come, Come on, Charlie! Guys, look! They're surrounded! Cough it up! Run, Charlie, run! No! I can't take it anymore! I want my life, just take it, here's the back. Go break it with my care, no way it just a PPJ, so take my back. A chip or have a great big sip of chocolate milk. Why stop at lunch? You know 
loser. Charlie Bradley, what have you done? Don't be nervous, Grace. Just start the auditions with Mary. You can tell them how important she was because Mary was the mother of Jesus. I know, that's Helen. <laughs> and then move on to Joseph. You can tell them that God chose Joseph to be Jesus' dad, but don't spend too much time on this subject. It can be confusing. <laughs> and besides, Elmer is always Joseph. He knows all about Mary and Joseph. But we're holding auditions. All parts are available. Right. And don't let the wise men stand next to the shepherds. They always start hitting. Helen, I really have to get back to the church. And the angels should not wear makeup or earrings or high heels. I'm going, Helen. And the baby angels are going to be your biggest problem. Someone has to push them on stage. I mean it. Bob could help. Very funny. Bye, and Helen. And absolutely no live animals. <laughs> So this is what a church looks like. It's not that scary. Where's the bell? Where are all the people? I want to ring that bell. I don't see any Twinkies. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, Shirley Bradley lied to us. Hey, Alice. Uh, where are the snacks? We're having Kool-Aid and cookies after auditions for the pageant in that's what you mean. What's a pageant? It's a play. What's it about? Jesus. Everything here is. <laughs> and it's about Mary. Well, mostly it's about Mary. Who's Mary? I am. I mean, I probably am. I know the part. And she is the star of the show. <laughs> we'll see how that. won't get sick, which brings me to the lead roles. If you want to be Mary or Joseph, then you really have to come to every rehearsal. Teddy? What if they get sick? They won't get sick. <laughs> we'll be casting those roles today. But remember, all parts are important. Now, who would like to play Mary? Alice? No! I don't want to! No! But you always play Mary. No! Mom, bad news. Why look! It's the Hurricane! Mrs. Bradley, Mrs. Bradley! What is it, Teddy? I'm gonna be sick! Hey, Mrs. Bradley!
Mom, let those Herdmans take over our pageant. Why didn't you raise your hand? I thought you wanted to play Mary. Imogene told me that if I even opened my mouth, she'd get a pussy willow and jam it so far into my ear that it'd come out the other side. <laughs> you know she wouldn't do that. She would, too. Remember when Ollie kept that plant growing out of his ear? Ralph did that to him. Yeah, they beat on each other all the time, but they wouldn't do it to you. Herdman's would do anything to anybody. None of us are safe. Your mom should have thrown them out of the room. Well, that's just mean. Those Herdman's are going to ruin our pageant, and it's all your mother's fault. Alex! Wait until Mrs. Armstrong hears about this. What? How did this happen? Who let them in? Grace, she just let them take over. And Imogene Hardman is playing Mary? Yes, can you believe it? The mother of Jesus, for Pete's sake. Where was Reverend Hopkins? I'd like to know. He was visiting shut-in. I'm a shut-in. He wasn't visiting me. Something has to be done about this. Hello? Thank you. 
Now let's sing it the right way. Hey, Mrs. Bradley, if this is a play, then why aren't we playing? <laughs> oh, Tad, you're in hell. Oh, boy, don't push. No! Duck, duck, goose! Duck, duck, duck! Now! It's clear that your mom cannot control Herdman. That's what my mom said. And what does your mom know? She's not even here. I tell my mom everything. I write it down. That's pretty sneaky. I'm not a sneak. Gladys is. At auditions, she took three sips of communion wine. That's just grape juice. Everyone knows that. But it belongs to the church. And what about the kindergarten happy birthday day? What about it? I shook it. And it doesn't make a sound. So? Last week, it made a sound. And what kind of a person shakes the kindergarten happy birthday bay? A person who cares. Uh, ding dong, ding dong. My mother said, her mother said, your mother's in over. about the way the Herdman sang Silent Night, and she wants to switch churches. You're kidding. <laughs> See, they all say I should get rid of the Herdman. You should. I can't. It would hurt their feelings. Why do you care about their feelings? They don't care about ours. Charlie, don't mind him. He's right. They're awful. The Herdmans? Yes. Say, Imogen locked herself in the bathroom, and Teddy wet his pants. That's not good. And Leroy and Claude broke the steeple bell. Wow. Ralph and Gladys sold all the cookies and that tattletale Alice is in there writing everything down. They're just kids. It'll be okay. No, it won't. The Hermans really are the worst kids in the history of the world. Uh, honey, 
Are you all right? I don't know. Maybe they're right. Maybe it's time to give up the fight. will be okay. Maybe those kids need something. Maybe what they need is you. Maybe you're the best husband ever. Do I still have to go? Yes! <laughs>
And the baby Jesus. They follow a star that leads them to Jesus. And then they give him very special gifts. Like what? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What's that? A fragrant oil. Oil? oil? What kind of a cheapo can give oil for a present? <laughs> we get from a Turns out, King Herod is an evil guy who is worried that Jesus will take over and become king when he grows up. So he wants to kill baby Jesus. We're gonna kill a baby? <laughs> Not the wise men, King Herod. Is that true, Mrs. Bradley? Uh, well, yes, it is. It sounds like something straight out of an action comic. Yeah. Oh my God. 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 Oh my
you see that? They're uh, shunning me. Grace, they didn't even see you. Well, Alice and Ivy, they saw me. And they didn't even say hello. They think it's Mom's fault the church caught fire. That's ridiculous. It was just smoke. No one was hurt and nothing was damaged. But now the pageant is canceled! There's the house. Are you sure? There's no number. The sign says, beware of cat. <laughs> and this is the place. We'll just hurry in and give the herdmans their basket. But mom, they'll kill us. Don't be silly. They're just kids. That's what you say. Mom, please don't make us go by ourselves. Well, all right, I'll go with you. What should I do? Watch out for the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Herdman. Val, Gladys. Anybody home? I don't think they're here. Let's just leave the basket and go. It's not fair. We didn't start the fire. Which fire? The one at the church. Oh, that fire? No, we did not. <laughs> it was those ladies' cakes that burned. They blamed us. Yeah. I don't think one guy can just cancel Christmas. Who does he think he is? God? I'd like to give him what for. Yeah, me too. I'd like to sink the cat on him. Yeah. But I did want to be the angel with the big pink wings. And I wanted to be Mary. I don't want to name my baby Jesus. What kind of a name is that? What would you have named him? Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's way better. Whoa. Whoa. What's that? It looks like a baby in a manger. Little baby bunny. It's like a gift from the three wise guys. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch it until Ma sees. She's gonna love it. I don't care. She will too. Hey, don't push me. Cut it out, you two! Gladys, that hurts. Hey, that's mine! No, I'm old. Ollie, here, you get back here. You're gonna get it. Glass! You better not get into that basket. I won't. I just want to look at it. All year I dreamed of this. The perfect Christmas gift. A box of mashed potatoes. A big old ham. A bag of day-old rolls. Two kinds of jam. And for one magic night of the year. Great, Ollie. 
So, so our mom wanted to tell you something. Are we in trouble? No. Um, we know you didn't start the fire. Yeah, it was the church lady's case. Does that mean we can do the pageant? Um, I don't know. Yes, Charlie Bradley. What are you doing? Grace, kids. Sorry, we gotta run. We really do. Wait! Are we doing the pageant or not? I don't know. No? Well, uh, be at the church tomorrow by 5 p.m., just in case. Wait, do you need a baby Jesus? I can get one from the grocery store. There's lots of them just sitting around the grocery carts. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ollie, but I don't think it'll be necessary. Do you have a doll? <laughs> Just this one. He's perfect. Do you need a cat? No! <laughs> I mean, thank you, Claude, but we don't. Great kid. Coming! Bye! Bye. Charlie told the Herdmans we're doing the pageant. Charlie, no. I'm glad he did. But Reverend Hopkins wanted to cancel. Then he should uncancel. It was the church lady's cake supper. What? It's your decision. What can I do? Go home. Works for me. <laughs> and be ready to alert the phone tree. Got it. Kids, we have to talk to the reverend. To the church. All right, hurry. Mom, wait for my fault. Hey, does that mean I still have to? Yes! <laughs> reverend Hopkins. Grace, what's the matter? The herdman had nothing to do with the smoke last night. What? It was Betty's applesauce cake to burn. So now we can do the pageant. Wait, Emily. That's a cigar. It wasn't her. It's a shame those kids were playing. They didn't start a fire. And if we don't tell the world the truth, we really will be liars. Who are we to hurt their feelings? How can we be so small in spite of it all? They should have a curtain call. Now wait a minute. But now I see I was wrong. It's clear to me now. This show must go on. Yes! What? No! We'll give them a chance. What are you thinking? Give, give them, them a, a chance. chance. Really let us down. Give, give them, them a chance. chance. Well, you can be certain. This time is going to be the talk of the town. Of the stars shining the brightest in the best Christmas pageant ever.
script. Who took my script here? It's anything like a palm tree. <laughs> Someone has been using my mascara. That is so unsanitary. Take this, it's new. This is Bradley. Mom, it's crazy downstairs. I don't know what to do. You and Alice are the baby angels on the stage. Charlie, you lead the shepherds. Bob's got the wise men. Here's the order. Fine. Halfway around the block. Mom, I don't know when the shepherds come on. I'll cue you. I'm lighting the man. Mrs. Bradley, what? Thank you. I brought my Mary costume. Just in case. <laughs> what are you saying? Places. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone take deep breaths. Try to stay calm. This is Bradley. What is it, Teddy? The Herdmans aren't here. Shoot me now. <laughs> <laughs>
Mrs. Bradley and to all the children. That was. That was. Hey, everybody! And to us, a child is born! <laughs> <laughs> Let there be joy in the world! Yeah, the heck 